today we shall be talking about the concept of allegation let us take a very simple example supposingly you own a grocery shop in a very small town you have got two varieties of yellow dal one is of a better quality dal and the other one is a little less on quality the higher quality dal is priced at 150 per kg and the lower quality one is at 90 per kg but the problem has arisen that you are not able to sell them properly the reason being the expensive dal 150 is way expensive and people find it very tough to spend 150 rupees and on the other hand you are also not able to sell the price at 90 per kg because being cheaper it is a little less on the quality so you are got in a fix what do you do now so there is a very simple option that you mix both the varieties of dal the cheaper one and the expensive one and you get a mixture now you are willing to sell this mixture not at 150 but at a price little lesser than 150 because you can easily obtain your break even point because you have mixed 90 rupees per kg dal with the same expensive dal so you reduce the price from 150 and you are able to sell the dal the whole lot of the expensive dal and the cheaper dal get mixed up and you are able to sell them so you are getting benefit to mix both the quantities of dal now the problem arises the question is that what quantity of expensive dal you will mix and what quantity of cheaper dal you will mix this we have to find out by the process of allegation second question is what price has to be fixed now the price of the new mixture we will be determining and this the price of the new mixture is called the mean price let us discuss some of the terms used in this concept the first one is mixture when we mix two or more substances physically i am not talking chemically you are just physically mixing them then the resultant is called a mixture it can be a mixture of milk and water alcohol and water acid and water anything even you can mix two varieties of dal you can mix two varieties of rice anything so the resultant is called a mixture what is ingredient the two uh, the substances which you added physically in obtaining a mixture are called ingredients in my example one variety of yellow dal is one ingredient and the other variety of yellow dal is the other ingredient okay now what is allegation allegation is the method how will you find out the amount of each ingredient in that mixture how much quantity of cheaper dal is to be mixed and how much quantity of expensive dal is to mix this is called allegation mean price i just told you the cost price of the new mixture is called the mean price price at which the mixture will be sold supposingly you mix rice as 80 per kg and rice at 140 per kg both of them were mixed now what will you sell them at you will sell them at little lesser than 140 and a little higher than 80 that will be called the mean price what is a dearer ingredient the ingredient which is expensive is called dearer ingredient the ingredient which is little less expensive is called the cheaper ingredient now here we show you how to derive the formula the cost price of the dearer will be called d the cost price of the cheaper will be called c and the cost price of the mixture the mean price will be denoted by m so here we begin with the cp the cost price of the cheaper ingredient we write here c the cost price of one unit of the dearer ingredient we write here d and in the middle i am writing a small m which is denoting the mean price of the mixture here is the price of the cheaper ingredient and here will be the quantity of the cheaper ingredient here is the price of the dearer ingredient and you will write underneath the quantity of the dearer ingredient so this is how you learn what you have to write on the corners okay in the middle is already very simple m for mean price now how do you memorize this here you will write d minus m you begin from this arrow and you will write d minus m okay now it's a very common sense thing that the quantity of the expensive dal will be more than the mean price right therefore we write d minus m towards this side you will write m minus c how will you memorize it the mean price will be more than the price of the cheaper ingredient very simple sense right so you will write m minus c i repeat here is c d m in the middle and 
when you begin from this arrow you will write d minus m here because obviously the price of the expensive item will be more than the mean price here you will write m minus c because obviously the mean price will be more than the price of the cheaper ingredient and from here you will be deriving this formula which says that the quantity of the cheaper ingredient upon the quantity of the dearer ingredient will be d minus m cost price of the dearer minus the mean price whole upon mean price minus cp of the cheaper which is m minus c if you write it in the numerator you will write d minus m and in the denominator you will write m minus c the same formula can be demonstrated in the form of ratio here it is shown in the form of a fraction so the ratio says cheaper quantity is to dearer quantity is equal to d minus m ratio m minus c i'll give you a little tips how to memorize it and you have to be very careful for this when i write cheaper quantity upon the dearer quantity you will write d minus m upon m minus c be careful that m has to be in the alternate places here m is behind and here m will be in the front if you just reverse the formula which you can obviously do that in that case you have to write dearer quantity upon the cheaper quantity and there you will write m minus d upon c minus m so here also m is in the alternate place here m is in the beginning in the forward and here m will be in the backward units of m d and c should be the same the second tip is the m d and c the units of all these ingredients they have to be same if you are taking the cost price it has to be the cost price if you are taking the sale price it has to be the same sale price if you are taking the ratio all the three should be the ratio if you are taking the proportion the percentage it has to be all the three things in the proportion so these are the two tips you should always remember in mind when you are framing this formula and in the next videos to follow i will be solving more questions on the topic of allegation i hope i have made the things very clear to you the concept is very crystal clear to you in case you have any doubts please feel free to ask me in the comment section kindly like and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching stay safe stay blessed